welcome to this solution video for Workout Wednesday 2021 week 7. Can you use dashboard extensions? This week we're looking at the emoji sentiment ranking from 2015. The reason I chose this challenge for this week was because I didn't realise that there was such a thing as extensions on Tableau Public. So if you go to the extensions gallery and if you tick the little box where it says Tableau Public compatible, You'll see all of the extensions that are available to use with Tableau Public. Hopefully in the future there's going to be more extensions for you to use with Tableau Public, but definitely check these out and see how you can use them within your work. This one we use the image map filter option which is here on the, the left hand side and this video will show you how um, I enabled that and some of the other little tricks and bits and bobs that I created within the dashboard itself. So if I go to a new sheet, we're just gonna recreate the chart on the right hand side first. And again, when I mentioned the, the data connection, so if I go in and edit the data source in here, you'll see that I have a relationship based on my two data points. If I click my relationship, what I did was I created a relationship calculation which removes the zero X from the beginning of the um, one of the set text files so that you can join on the code points. A lot of the solutions that I saw over the week just joined on the emoji, which is fine, um, but I just wanted to make sure the code points were all the same. So to start with, I just dragged the emoji onto my view and also used the name as well so that we could see what exactly each one of these things were called. I then also used the group functionality. So once I click all in here, um, some of them do disappear, but that's just because we wanted to keep the subset that's in our original data set. Now, what we can do here is we can add in the uh, number of tweets. So if I just add that in, change that to discrete, and let's sort the emoji by the, the field itself. So we have our top one over here. I then created three calculations. So if I just have a look at what's in this, it's just the sum of positive tweets um, versus uh, divided by the sum of the number of tweets. So we can add that into our view. So I'm just gonna, um, sorry, drag and drop that to columns, drag and drop neutral on top, and then also negative as well. And then move my measure names to my color. So here you can see we have our full percent of total. I can then change these around a little bit. So we want um, positive to be at the top, followed by neutral, followed by negative. And then finally, it's just the position of the, the tweet itself. So what I did was I used the average of one on my secondary axes, and then I made that super thin and changed that to gray, and then also did a dual axis based on the position. So I can right click and hit dual axis, change the average of one back to a bar, I'll change the measure values back to a bar as well. And you'll see now that we have our baseline skeleton for the charts that we did. So I'm just going to synchronize and unshow the headers so we don't have those there. And then finally, I just want to keep the top 20. So I'm just going to filter to the top 20. Click OK. And then the last thing I'm, I need to do is I'm just going to add this to context so that when we do use this uh, group filter um, with the extension, you'll be able to filter to just that extension piece. So I'm going to create a new dashboard and just bring that into my view. I'm going to go into my extension option and drag that in as well. And this is where you'll be able to find your own extensions. So I'm going to find my extension which is inside my Tableau repository in extensions. And then we have the image map filter here. So I'm going to click open. With this, it asks you to choose an image. So again, I'm just going to go to my image. So I have that there. I'm going to tell this extension which 
which dimension I want to use and which sheet I want to apply it to. And then when I click OK, you'll see that um, we did add uh, the sizing so that we could play around with it a little bit more. But essentially, all we needed to do here was draw around the specific elements. So you could either take the drawing tool and draw around specifically each one of the elements and then pick which per thing it belongs to. Or you can draw a square so it's a little bit more uniform and you can go through and do it for each one of your elements. So I'll quickly do this. And now when I hit the filter button across the top, it's going to test this filtering. So if I hit smileys and people, it's now just going to show me the top 20 of those smileys and people and animals, food, etc. So this works lovely with Tableau Public and I definitely recommend. The good thing about this is you can create your image in any of the image creation things. So I created this within PowerPoint and it saves me adding it to my Tableau repository and creating a dual axis with the text and this, the images as well. So it's super helpful to be able to use this type of extension. Hopefully in the future you'll see more extensions, which will be great. The final thing was the overall axes of the number of tweets. So if I just show you how I did that, I did the group and then I added the number of tweets in here. I also excluded the null, so we didn't have that in there. But notice how on my dashboard, these are rounded. So what I did for that was I actually used a trick, which is the average of zero. I created a shared axis and moved my measure names to detail. I then changed it to a line and put my measure names on the path and up to the size. So when I up the size, you'll see it automatically creates that rounded bar chart on my view. I can then add my group to my color and you'll see that this creates that rounded bar chart. The other way of doing this is using circles at the end of the bar, uh, but that takes a little bit longer on lining them up to make sure that they match correctly. The final steps would be to just bring them all together into the view and create the seamless um, seamless tableau that we, we know and love with our dashboard sizes and things like that. So, so definitely take a look at the, the rest of the solution and hopefully you've learned something new by using um, extensions. So thank you very much and I'll be back soon. Thank you all and if you enjoyed this video, please check out some of the other solution videos for some of the other Workout Wednesdays. Thank you!